My favorite thing is everything, if I can say that. So a day at Hillsborough Charter Academy starts off very much like a day that you would see in any elementary school. That shifts a little bit once we hit midday, and then we shift into our specials classes. So we have studio specials during the early afternoon, and then that last piece of our day with our E3, that's really the why. That we get to do things that not lots of other schools get to do, to do like E3. E3 stands for Explore, Engage, and Engineer. It's the time at the end of the day when all of our scholars get to learn the why behind everything they've learned all morning. It's a pretty amazing time. We have two teachers in the classroom. There's a classroom teacher along with a specialist, and we plan projects that really bring out what the scholars are learning in science, in social studies, in math, and there's always language arts in everything that we're doing. The E3 time is planned with the specialist and the teacher. We have special days where the teachers come together and we do speed planning, where they meet with all the different specialists and learn and develop the lessons and then the scholars get to really take part in that active piece of our day. They love to create and they love to build. When you tie all of them together, you end up with the students learning the things that you wanted them to learn without them realizing that you had orchestrated the whole thing in the first place. First of all, I love the size of the Hillsborough Charter Academy. I love that it, everybody knows each other and that if you see somebody that's new, you welcome them and you ask them about themselves and you get to know all the new people that are here. It's one of the best things about this school that when you walk in, you see fifth graders engaging with first graders and kindergartners and second graders. You see fourth graders who are reading buddies with younger children. And that's something that uh, I think all of our families are especially proud of. My favorite thing is it literally is innovative and we're changing every day. We're growing, we're adapting. At Hillsborough, you walk into classrooms, you see all kinds of cool technology that kids, uh, that young kids can have access to. Uh, things like 3D printers, things like flight simulators. And so it's, it's totally advanced. Uh, it really opens a lot of doors. Learning new things is really fun for me because learning different things just feels like it makes me a better person. I don't like summer. It is amazing to be able to suggest a schedule and a calendar that fits the educators and the scholars and then have that be considered up the chain. You know, typically when you're at a, a regular school, those decisions are made outside of the classroom without the scholars in mind. I feel like most of our decisions at Hillsborough Charter start with the ground floor. It was intimidating coming to work here, an operating committee, a board of directors, another board of directors, and it seems like it would have been very top heavy, but it's in fact the opposite. So part of the thing that I really love about teaching here is that flexibility and freedom. If we come up with an idea, there are so many people willing to help make it work. And it doesn't matter who comes up with the idea. It could be the second grade teacher. And then we have this amazing activity that's happening. The collaboration, collaboration between the teachers, collaboration between the students, being able to always work together. You know, as an elementary school, that was one of the challenges. We don't like the word no, right? We like the word, we like to push the boundaries a little bit. We don't like to be in that box. We like to break out of, of any boundaries. And that I think is the biggest thing about being at a charter. It has a reputation for doing a lot of hands-on activities with the kids, doing very engaging things. And that was the kind of teacher that you know I strive to be. It's literally stretching your brain and those scholars are learning more and they're getting more skills, knowing how to overcome things, learning how to get past things um, just by facing those, those trials. And we say all the time, failure, fail, the word fail is the first attempt in learning. It's posted on the STEAM lab wall and we wanna celebrate those failures, learn from them, and then grow as we come up to our next challenge. STEAM is, it's a buzzword, right? A lot of people say, oh, we do STEM, we have robots, or oh, we do STEAM, we do more art. It really isn't a thing without all of the core subjects inter interdisciplinary within what you're teaching. STEAM is absolutely so important. With the littlest learners, each one of them have their own specialty. Some might be good at reading, some might be good at writing. STEAM hits all of the different areas, the science, the technology, the engineering, the mathematics, the art. We wanna make sure that we're hitting all of their specialty areas and we want the kids to feel good about what they're doing. And it's a tool, I kind of wish I had this tool. When you're growing up, you need to learn how to get along with each other, how to play nice on the playground, we talk about, right? And STEAM does that. It teaches the kids how to collaborate. It teaches them how to critically think through problems. It teaches them how to communicate. And it teaches that creativity. And it all happens through the lens of this high interest problem that they're solving, this high interest design challenge. So they're immediately sucked in and they are all in with their personalities and however they think they can solve the problem. And while they're going through it, 
it is difficult and there are failures and the growth mindset is so important. But once they have that success of solving whatever challenge it is you're giving to them, using STEAM, using the science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and there are so many other subjects that go into not just those five, but using that to develop them into the citizens that we want them to be and the citizens that they need to be everywhere they go, not just at Hillsborough Charter Academy.